Hey guys, how's it going? Haseeb here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be about Google Ads keyword research. So we are doing this keyword research for a real client. There's an Australian client. So uh, this client's company is actually specializing in building custom homes, passive homes. So we're going to do a keyword research to run Google Ads on his Google Ads account. So the way we are doing it today in this video is uh, special because one we are saving a lot of time using this strategy that i'm going to show you uh in this video two we are going to go for the high intent keywords so high intent keywords are usually the keywords that people like when people are searching these keywords in in his mobile device or in his desktop or whatever he is actually genuinely in search of that service so in this video we are going to see how to uh, you know find those keywords and how to categorize them into different ad groups and uh, at the same time how to find the negative keywords so uh, you can save a lot of money by adding a negative keyword list for those keywords your clients ad will not show up so let's begin as i've said earlier so the client does custom homes and passive homes so first of all let's go to the ad account and in tools and settings we will find keyword planner so as, as soon as you come to dashboard you're going to go to tools and settings and then keyword planner and i am already in my keyword planner so uh the client is from australian capital territory so this is my target area i can also target canberra which is uh this is actually a part of this territory so let me uh so this is already selected right so i don't have to select anything else so let's go for the custom home home builders these types of keywords so we know what the client offers so let's write custom homes uh near me custom homes then uh home builders near me home builders you might uh you might ask why am i searching for these at the beginning or how did these keywords come to my mind so you had to question yourself right so when you're doing these type of keyword researches you need to put yourself in shoes of users or the audience so you need to think about what you would be searching when you would need uh, what the client is offering so these are the gen general keyword patterns near me or just the name of the keyword or the name of the service you know so let's begin our search let's get rid of this so as you can see there's a lot of keywords uh, in here and I want to sort by average monthly searches so this is the average monthly search descending so a couple things we need to pick up from here we don't care about the average monthly search as long as we know that people are searching for these keywords we are good because we're not going to do anything with this data. So the most important thing here is these two things, right? So top of page bid, low range, top of page bid, high range. So this gives us an indication on how much we need to spend in order for us to, you know, show the ad on top of the page. Because if the ad's not showing up on the top of the page, then there's no point of running Google Ads. So uh, we need to keep in mind how much we want to, you know, spend for this keyword this is really easy so 1.18 to 3.47 so you just make a calculation so 1.18 plus 3.47 divided by 2 so roughly 2.3 uh australian dollars we need to spend for this keyword this is the uh you know basic math so these are the things so i'm gonna get rid of uh this these things I don't need this one as well maybe this one uh, should be like this all right we've got average monthly searches this shows us these uh, keywords are being searched and this is uh, an indication of how much we need to spend roughly metric on home this looks like a brand keyword so you need to question yourself or you can confirm with the client so this is our negative keyword list so these are our negative keywords uh, we don't want our ads to show up for these keywords. Home builder. This is actually mid intent keyword, but as you can see, there's not a lot of searches going on for uh, these type of keywords. We can take uh, mid intent keywords. So if it's not like home builder near me, it's just home builder. So we could keep this and we could just write two to five. So we could 
I, I just want to spend like 3.5 or something, whatever, you know. I'm just doing this math in my mind. It doesn't have to be accurate as long as it's in range. Uh, so builders near me, obviously a very high uh, intent keyword. So the higher the intent goes, the more you need to spend. So uh, 4.40 to 15. So I can spend about 8.5 or maybe 9. Let's say 9. But I cannot spend more than that because there's a budget issue. Now, uh, house builders, I can take that one. As you can see, there's a search volume for that one. Two to six, so I'm going to take four. Custom home builders, mid to high range. Not, I wouldn't say it's of super high intent. Three to seven, so I'm going to spend five for this. Uh, Porter Ray Davis home. This looks like a negative keyword. Local builder. You can take this. It's it says local, so local. Uh, like as as long as people are searching for local, uh, they want somebody from their own area, and this is why we are running the ad, so we could keep this. You know, six to nine. Uh, I'm gonna like I'm gonna spend a six point five maybe for this. I'm not really interested in that because it's a you know mid in ten keyword, but. There's no near me or something. Uh, new home builders. Obviously, I'm gonna take that two to eight. So it's let's let's say five. Luxury home builders. We could take that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend about. If there's nothing, I'm just gonna do an average of the other ones. Custom homes. Home builders near me. This is a really good keyword. I'm gonna spend uh, about five for that. New construction near me. So. You get the idea, right? So I'm, I'm going for the high intent keywords, the keywords I know people are searching when they're in need of this service. That's why I'm taking these keywords. I don't want to spend a lot of money and waste them on like, you know, low intent or mid intent keyword. Those keywords will drive traffic, but they won't have a really good buying intent in their minds. So it's, it's up to you. If you have a, a really good budget, just go for it. Otherwise, just use uh, what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to resume it. And then you're going to see a decent amount of keywords. And then I'm going to show you the next steps. All right, guys. So I've got a long list of keywords here. I, I haven't taken uh, many keywords because I've, I think I've already shared the idea that you don't have to go for unrelated keywords or, you know, keywords with uh, very low intent or medium intent, as long as you've got a lot of keywords with high intent. So now it's time for us to categorize them a uh, couple things so category is actually the ad groups so when we are doing a campaign we are dividing the campaign based on different ad groups and those ad groups contain keywords that are actually related to each other so when you are creating an ad group with house builders make sure you have the keywords house builders near me home builders near me uh, uh, best house builders near me best home builders near me uh, home builders in Canberra. So those are the keywords you need to include in that ad group and the list goes on. So this is exactly what we are going to do now. So if we are taking home builder, uh, let's cut it from here. So builders near me can go uh, here because we are targeting the home builders or house builders rel related keywords. House builders, that's fine. Custom home, I don't want to include this. You can it's related that's not an issue but i want it to have its own ad group right so uh i'm taking this house builders can go away custom home builders i want to include this in another ad group local builder let's keep it now for now uh new home builders we can bring it over here home builders near me right so this is what i'm talking about luxury let's keep it new construction near me so we can have it uh, down here, maybe down from 21. Yeah, let's start from here. So new construction near me, new build homes near me. We can uh, have it. Let's let's keep it as it is. Custom home builders near me. Obviously, it will go in the custom builders ad group. Home construction companies, house builders near me. So let's do house builders near me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, custom builders. Let's take it over here. Uh, House building companies. So if there's companies, I want them to have their own ad group, no matter how less keywords they have. So we've got house building companies and home building companies. I want them to have their own ad group. Best home builders. Okay. 
new house construction so we could keep it here because it, it includes construction so this will be a construction related ad group find a builder near me new build houses near me uh we could bring it over here that's not an issue because it, this has got a low cost per click if it had like a super crazy cost per click like nine or ten we would give it uh give it its own ad group uh find a builder near me and find a builder can stay close to each other modern builders cost to build uh building a custom home so this one should come over here house construction company so this is construction I was building contractors so contractors can go uh in a separate ad group let's maybe let's have them here uh you get the idea right so maybe this is not the best organized way but uh i'm just giving you an idea of how you can categorize the ad groups based on the keywords and the relationships so these keywords you can identify them and like they can relate to each other through builder uh, builders house builders home builders best home builders those stuff and this th these have construction in common so they're they're looking for a construction company and if you write the ad groups keeping in mind that you're using construction related keywords you can bring the you know by by increasing the quality score you can bring the cost down that's that's our only goal in the ad campaign we bring the relationships at its best so the cost goes down and the quality score goes high so let's continue new construction home companies let's keep it here maybe new builders we bring it here luxury so uh luxury can be in here let's give luxury a uh, 2.5 uh, cost per click so we should bring it over here new build homes i think i've already new build houses so can you build homes can come here new home construction new home construction here um modern cost to build a house portable home builders build my dream house custom house builders so let's bring it here let's give it three all right so let's see what have we missed Home construction companies. Let's bring it here. Find a builder near me. Find a builder and find a builder. Home construction companies can be removed. Local builder, modern, portable, build a new house. Um, new house. Okay, let's bring it over here. But the more you break them down into different ad groups, the better the ads are supposed to perform. That's how the uh ad campaigns simply work so that's why i'm taking so much long time in doing keyword research uh because it does pay off all right so we've got one two three four five six seven and here like eight or nine keyword uh ad groups now for these ad groups you have to have like different cost per clicks so uh like you can use a manual cpc bidding strategy you can uh take the highest cost per click and then set it for the ad group so for example this ad group's highest cpc is nine maybe not nine i would go seven so uh if it's seven i would do the entire ad group's average uh cost per click i mean uh, maximum cost per click seven that way the whole like balance is done or you could you know if you see something like uh like it's it's an extreme value comparing to the others like others have gone two, two, three, four, and this one's suddenly got nine what you can do is you can take it out and you can give it its own ad group which would be a single keyword ad group so we call it skag so do a skag just with one keyword and nothing else and uh that way you are bringing the cost down for that keyword now for ad groups there are three match types broad match phrase match and exact match what you want to do is you want to uh, ignore broad match because that actually covers a lot of related keywords like if i am uh if i'm adding this keyword builders near me as a broad match it'll actually uh it'll actually start showing up for you know bunch of unrelated crappy keywords which you don't want because you're very likely to spend money for those clicks right so you don't want that with phrase match and exact match you are saving money because the keywords the search terms that your ads start showing up for they're actually very related to what the keywords you're putting in your campaign so 
don't go for a broad match no matter how low the search volume is monthly for those keywords don't go for broad match ever my recommendation would be this because uh, if if the search volume is very low as long as you're like getting the high highest intent keywords and you are like selecting all of them like a lot of them and then uh, you're spending a lot of time categorizing these ad groups you're you're good to go so i have this tool over here called adwords wrapper so it's called adwordswrapper.com so what you want to do is you want to take all these keywords and come over here adwordswrapper.com and just put them all here wrap keywords and just take copy the phrase and exact match so what it does it is it it actually uh wraps all these keywords in phrase and exact match uh patterns so let me actually show you what it is so uh these uh inverted comma keywords are phrase match while these third bracket or square brackets however you call it uh these are exact matches so if we put only the keyword like best home builders this would be like if you put it directly in your campaign this would be considered a broad match keyword which clearly we don't want so just put them uh once you copy this just dump them into when you're creating the ad group that's how you do the keyword research spend a lot of time in it it's the best idea to spend a lot of time at the beginning of, the, of creating the ad campaign rather than you know like going after like making it live and then uh, spending every day to you know optimize it so do it and uh, i'm really sure that you will get results uh, if you do keyword research this way this is i'm showing this for a construction company but this will go for any type of business niche or category so i hope this video helps make sure you subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.